Hey guys, welcome to another video, and this time it's going to be comparing the new Nissan Aria that's actually going to be coming out within the next few days to the Tesla Model Y. First of all, if you guys are new to my channel, definitely subscribe and click on the bell, and also like this video and check out all my other content. I actually have a couple of other videos just like this where I'm comparing a model uh, of a vehicle to older models, I'm comparing to several different vehicles. So again, if that's of interest to you, definitely check out my other videos. Um, I'm trying to grow this channel to a thousand by December, so a thousand subscribers that is. And of course I'm not going to force you guys to subscribe, but if you really do enjoy my content, it really means a lot to me, because you guys, and I sound so cheesy saying this, but you guys really are the ones that keep me going as far as making content. So without further ado, let's start up the video and let's get to talking about the new Nissan Aria versus the Tesla Model Y. First of all, I'm going to talk about the Nissan Aria, and then I'm going to compare that to the Tesla Model Y, and then we can see which one's better as far as the value you're getting, so price versus all the components that it offers. I'm going to talk about the range of both vehicles, and I'm going to just talk about how the cars look. So, of course, prepare to see a bunch of pictures comparing these vehicles all through the video. So starting off, let's actually talk about a little bit of the history of Nissan when it comes to electric vehicles. At least in the United States, Nissan isn't particularly known for creating that many electric vehicles. Of course, nowadays they have more hybrid vehicles, but really the only purely electric vehicle they used to have was the Nissan LEAF. And I feel like for a company as big as Nissan, you expect them to have more than just one Nissan LEAF, which is like a really cheap electric vehicle, which has like the bare minimum on it. Um, and well, they're coming out with one, which is the Nissan Aria. So the Nissan Aria is gonna be built off of the Nissan LEAF platform. And of course they're gonna like beef it up and add on more to it. So as far as range, you're gonna be getting roughly around 226 miles. Um, but of course they're gonna have different options and it's gonna go close to or just right around the 300 mile range. In addition to that, it's also all wheel drive. And as far as dimensions, if you want something to go off of, it's gonna be roughly the same dimensions as the Nissan Rogue, which I created a video about up there. Price-wise, you're expecting to pay roughly upwards of $40,000. And I feel like the thing that people are most interested in is the fact that this car is gonna offer level three automation. So of course we know that level um, levels of automation go from level 1 to level 5, or sorry, from level 1 to level 6. So 1 through 3 are generally where the driver has to be present and able to take over the wheel at any point. Whereas from 4 to 6 is going to be autonomous where it's optional, the driver could take over the vehicle. And then it goes from there to the point where the driver isn't even needed to be in the vehicle to begin with. So. As far as, again, as far as the Aria, it's going to be right at number three, which is just right on the border where you essentially wouldn't need a driver in the vehicle. So again, you're going to probably be able to drive the car on highways, on streets, without um, needing a driver. But of course, you're going to still have to be in the driver's seat with a brake pedal and a gas pedal to be able to take it in order to take control of the car at any moment. So moving on to the Tesla Model Y now, um, we're looking at a car, first of all, it came out last year, so it's been around for a while. Um, I would like to assume you guys aren't too unfamiliar with Tesla. Double negative. I'm assuming you guys are familiar with Tesla, at least fairly familiar. Um, if not, then you should check out this video here where I did a review of the Tesla Model S, which honestly, I have to say, might be my favorite Tesla as far, I mean, the looks, it's a decent looking car, but I just feel like as far as a fit for like a tall person like me, but of course there's, I go into a lot more about that in the video if you want to check it out. But either way, getting back to the Tesla Model Y, it's been around for a while, so we're fairly familiar with it. Again, similar to the Aria, it's also all wheel drive. However, price wise, you're going to be paying upwards of $50,000. So um, I actually went onto the car and driver website because I feel like Funnily enough, at least some of the cars that they've reviewed are cars that I've driven as well. And in many cases, the things that I like about the vehicles and the things that I dislike almost mirror what they have as well. So generally, I tend to use them as like a barometer 
to see what people like about certain vehicles and things that people don't like about certain vehicles. So compared to the Aria, you're actually getting more miles. You're getting 360 miles. And of course they have more pa like they have packages that could increase it to even more than that. But generally you're getting low 300s as far as range goes. So back to me bringing up car and driver. So I brought it up mainly because I just went on there and just sort of skimmed through to see what they thought of the Model Y, seeing as I haven't driven one, but I have sat in one before. And I mean, first of all, it's a little bit tight. Then again, I'm also six foot six, so I'm not the average height of people, um, but it was a little bit cramped. Um, but I, I feel like the big thing that I want to draw attention to is the price. So as I mentioned a little bit earlier on in this video, it starts at $54,000. So that's starting to get kind of steep, <laughs> especially if you get on a bunch of add-ons and a bunch of different features and packages in addition to the base price of the vehicle. So, so according to reviews of this vehicle, people tend to say that it's generally overpriced, which is interesting because apart from the mileage, which is more for the Tesla, it's more the Tesla's more expensive and it also has a, like, I mean, I guess you could say level 2.5 automation, so it's not quite level 2 and it's not quite level 3. Whereas for the Aria, you get level three, like just level three, that's about it. Um, so comparing the both of them, I guess now would be the time to compare them. Um, as far as the interior, I'll start off with the interiors because for both of them, I have to say that I'm rather impressed. I have to say that I really like the Model Y, uh, mainly due to the minimalness of it. I don't know if I made that word up, probably did. <laughs> But I just like how minimal the vehicle looks inside, where you just get your screen in the middle, you have your steering wheels, you have buttons on the steering wheel. But for the most part of the center console and the cockpit area as a whole, you really don't have too much going on. And I like that for sure. As far as the Nissan Aria, you're really not getting too much that's different from the Tesla Model Y. Of course, the pictures we're looking at are prototypes, just a heads up. So it could change a little bit here and there, but for the most part, it's gonna be similar enough to the pictures we're seeing and in these pictures of course the car also looks really minimalist and generally for electric vehicles that's starting to be the new look and that's definitely a look that i'm a fan of as far as the look of the exterior um starting with the aria uh it's rather interesting because of course we've seen a few teasers here and there of the vehicle and i mean it just looks like a stereotypical electric vehicle and if you look at this particular picture it shows you like just the headlights and has like this like V look to it and it looks pretty cool I figure if you're gonna make an electric vehicle might as go might as well go all out and make something that's like I guess over the top even though I don't think this is particularly that crazy um, and then comparing that to Model Y again we've seen Tesla in the market for a long time so as far as the looks of this car you could probably mix it up with a Model 3 and if you really didn't know much about cars I wouldn't really blame you either because granted the Model Y is a little bit bigger and it's more of a crossover but I mean overall there's not anything that sets it apart from any other car that exists. So I have to say overall I'm pretty impressed by this Aria. Of course, um, just as a heads up, this Aria is coming out in eight days. So I'm gonna be doing like an official video where I'm showing you guys um, legitimate pictures of the vehicle and how it looks and what I think of it. Because for the most part, these are just prototype pictures and just concept pictures. <clears throat> some of them are released by Nissan. Some of them are kind of made by other people who think they have an idea of what it's gonna look like. But again, in the next, I believe, eight days, we should know exactly what this car will look like. And I'll give you guys a follow-up video as I did with the Nissan Z. So definitely expect that. Um, of course, I also have a Ford Bronco video coming out, so stay tuned for that as well. So yeah, let me know in the comments, what do you think of this vehicle? If you had to get one, of, <clears throat> if you had to get one over the other, which one would you choose? Would you choose the one that's cheaper in price and has just about the same features? Or would you go with one that's more expensive because it's been in the market longer and it's proven well to work and it also has a <clears throat> and it also has a longer range so but let me know what you guys think in the comments below that's that for this video i'll catch you guys next time peace